how, how, uh, how much of a luxury it is to have the defense do what they did in the fourth quarter for you? Yeah, do I have to lean forward? I'm good. Okay. You're good, you're good. Um, yeah, I mean it was it was huge. They won the game. They 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 took over the game for us. It was nine eight, and then we uh, as an offense we blinked, and it was twenty five eight. You know, and and we hadn't done anything. So, um, you know, I think it's uh, it's it's an odd feeling like to to play the way that we did offensively, and to win is 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 very it's a very odd feeling. So, we there's a lot to get be- um to get better at. A lot of things that I think are glaring. Um, but I, uh, I, uh, it's, it's, it is comforting to know that our defense can step up when we, when we're not obviously carrying our weight. You did move the ball, mm-hmm. and then you get to the red zone, and things didn't necessarily work out. What changed there? You know, I, you know, I wish we, we had to look at the film and we got to figure that out. Um, we got to be better in the red zone. Um, more seems to be a reoccurring theme for us. So, um, you know, I, I think that they, their plan was good. They kind of did some things that we weren't, you know, prepared for, and. Um, you know, uh, it wasn't, I don't think of a lack of execution. I, I think at some points maybe it was, but we've got to, we've got to be better at that. That's definitely, um, uh, one of the things that, uh, special, special, uh, um, that, you know, play, you know, importance, uh, going into this next week. For you personally, you know, you go on the sidelines and you look at, um, the tablet and, uh-huh. and try to figure out what was or wasn't there on particular plays. Was it, um, you know, an inability for guys to separate? Was it an inability to protect, or were you just not seeing things the way you preferred? Um, I, I think that there were times where it was, a, it was one of, you know, something of each. Um, you know, I think early on there was one or two that I would have liked to have seen a little bit better. Um, but then there was times that we had plays called in that were designed for different coverages than what we got. And um, based off of Calgary's game plan, that was early on, and we were still trying to figure out who they were going to be. And, and um, I think we figured that out later in the game. And um, we were able to make some adjustments, which they allowed us to drive the ball. But then we just, you know, kind of fizzled out there in the red zone. So, you know, um, that, that that's what I would say to answer your question. I, I think that there are some things that we do need to execute better on. Um, and uh, I feel like, yeah, I just feel like we got really, really lucky tonight. Uh, last one for me is just, um, is it difficult to not be explosive? And I say that because, you know, you, you take a five-yard penalty and now all of a sudden it becomes hard to recover from that because it's harder to push the ball down the field. Like, how tough is that for you? Knowing how you like to play that right now, you guys aren't explosive. Yeah, I mean, uh, I, you know, I, I certainly don't mind the first and fifteen. I know that that's probably going to be two dropbacks, and so I'm 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 okay with that. Um, it definitely does make us a little bit one dimensional. Um, so that that's definitely a, a, a negative. Um, but you know, negative plays in general are just not been a great great for us. They've been, you know, not being efficient on first down. You know, has has been something that we've struggled with, and being in second and long and. Um, it just makes it easier for a defense to be able to um, to to know exactly what's coming. So, um, yeah, I think that uh, we definitely have to avoid those situations. You said you guys felt lucky you know, coming back. Do you think as a, like a sum of mentality with how the team played, the fact that we didn't have to win in that playoff game? Um, I think that in the other phases, I think that absolutely. I think it absolutely is. Um, you know, I, but I think offensively, we just have to, we can't play like that. We came out flat in the first half. Um, we didn't score points in the red zone, and we're going to have to do that. I mean, we did some good things, you know, else, elsewhere. I think we did improve in a lot of areas from last week, but, um, you know, I just don't think that that's going to win against, you know, playoff teams. You know, I just, I, I don't think it is. So, and I think that we know that, which, but we have to figure out, we kind of have a sense of urgency as well. Was there a sense of urgency? Or? I'm sure there was a sense of urgency. I, I thought so too. I, I thought so as well. Um, and so we're going to have to do a better job of that. Yeah. When when you have a first half where it does feel a little bit flat, hmm. do you say anything at halftime or do you leave that to other coaches? Yeah, you kind of feel it out and kind of see what's happening. I was I was frustrated at halftime and I, I let that show um, to the guys. And, and um, you know, I think uh, uh, I think that's important. Um, you know, I just. Uh, you know, I, I think it's. Uh, I think all of us kind of understand. I think that's what's great about this team and this locker room is why and why we still believe in each other is that I think we do feel that we are better than this and and we have higher expectations for ourselves, um, and uh, that's what gives me confidence moving forward. But uh, not uh, not exactly pleased to where at or with what we we put on the field tonight. Mm-hmm. Turning your sights to tomorrow, you become a rough riders fan a bit. Uh, I don't really even know what's going on. Oh. Rough Riders play Elks tomorrow, and a Rough Riders win gives you guys a playoff game. Okay.
I don't think I'd ever want to vote, uh, uh, go uh, root for the, the Rough Riders, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> Not at this point in my career, no. No, so, um, but we're watching that game, so. Coach talked about some of the missed opportunities where guys were aligned in incorrect positions and things like that. At this stage of the season, how do you get that fixed? Where are the roots of those problems? Um, well, I think that the roots is the, just the amount of injuries that we've had and the different people that we have in. Um, you know, I think that, uh, you know, sometimes with this offense, the more experience that you're able to get, um, hearing the, the lingo, the lingo, and 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 uh, understanding exactly what we're trying to get out of each play, I think that that certainly helps and slows things down for you a little bit. Um, so I think we have some things to clean up there, and um, you know, hopefully we're able to get some people back for next week. We've got a bit of a long week, so um, that that will be good. Hopefully we can use that to our advantage. Um, and uh, yeah, that's definitely uh, definitely frustrating for sure. Who's going to be in your ear more? Um, I don't know. I think those guys are, I, I think those guys are, 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 it was great to be able to get them the ball. Um, I think just where we're, with where we're at right now, personnel wise, um, to be able to show that they're pass catchers, it mean, just means that we can go into those packages a little bit more and throw the wall and have confidence in that. Um, but, uh, yeah, I think, uh, I think it's, it's, it's definitely, uh, definitely fun for everyone when they're getting, when they're touching the ball and carrying it.